Alright guys, here's some stretches from last night, some nice compound active stretches, okay? Everybody's doing, you know, compound exercises, talking about the benefit of doing heavy compound exercises, but who talks about compound stretches, guys? You know? You want to stretch your hamstrings, or do you want to do a down dog and stretch your shoulders, your hips, your ankles, pretty much your whole frickin' body, you know? I'll get into a runner stretch here in a minute. That's also stretching the hips, stretching the shoulders, ankles, you know what I mean? All kinds of stuff. I'm doing it under load with muscular effort, guys. That's gonna keep the nervous system active. Okay, and believe me, that really helps maintain and build muscle memory in these positions and really helps flexibility in the long run. Now, I don't want to keep talking about this <laughs> for 11 more minutes. Instead, I'm going to tell you guys a little story, all right? I woke up this morning with this in my head, this memory in my head for some reason. Maybe I had a dream, dream about this last night or something, but I don't know, I just kind of woke up and it was in my mind, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what's up, guys. Uh, when I was about 18, maybe 19 years old, is when this was uh, going on, I was practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, okay, at a gym, a very new gym, and the people that trained there, other than myself, were freaking monsters. I mean, these guys were like ex-football players, ex-power lifters, ex-like heavyweight collegiate wrestlers. I mean, good God, 80% of the people at this freaking gym were over 250 pounds. And for my metric people out there, that's like, I don't know, 100 and, what, 15 kilograms, something like that. I mean, big guys, big guys. And my ass was super small back in the day. I was like 140 pounds, maybe, you know. And what is that, like maybe 60-ish, 63 kilograms, something like that, for my metric followers. So yeah, these guys were like twice my size, literally, you know. Uh, got my ass kicked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I mean, I have no embarrassment about, about that. I just, that's what happened, guys. Every other night I'd go, we'd train, uh, drill some techniques for an hour, and then spar for half an hour to an hour, and I would just get freaking wrecked, you know what I mean? But I didn't give up. I kept going, and... You know, every now and then, maybe a guy my size would show up, and I would get to practice my offense finally. And I'd be like, oh, you know what, I'm pretty good at this, you know? <laughs> at least in terms of fighting guys my own size, and that was cool. But most of the time, I would be on the defensive constantly, because these guys would just, as soon as the bell rang, freaking tackle me, power through me, and I'd be in a bad position. I'd have to defend myself the entire time. Usually we do... Either three minute rounds or five minute rounds, and we just keep rotating through partners for half an hour to an hour until people started to leave. <laughs> they would just get too tired, and then people would start, like, you know, dropping off. I had great endurance at the time. I was just getting off of uh, being a competitive swimmer for like 12 years. Uh, so I'd usually be one of the last ones to give up unless I, like, hurt myself or something. And therefore, my endurance. Uh, and my defense were just insane at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, around the same time, uh, there were some guys that were creating a grappling club at the university. I went to the University of Georgia, and I was like, okay, awesome. I can get even more uh, practice in, you know? And I could fight guys or spar with guys that were like judo specialists or they were uh, uh, like wrestling specialists. You know, they weren't just doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It was grappling or submission wrestling in general. And that was really cool. And also, uh, 
it was mostly sparring guys. It was kind of like a little uh, fight club, if you will. We just kind of spar each other for like, you know, two or three hours, maybe once or twice a week. And that was kind of it. It was fun. Got a lot more experience in. And uh, I was going against guys that were closer to my size and therefore could practice my offense a lot more often. Now, here's what I'm getting to, guys. Here's the story I kind of wanted to tell. Uh, and there is kind of a moral to the story, I suppose. And I'll tie that in at the end of the video here. Now, there is one guy who, for some reason, and I think I know why now, but he didn't really like me. He, you know, there's, there's something... There's something I could tell whenever I was sparring him, he would get frustrated, you know? He was better than me. I think he was like a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at the time. And I was a no belt. I had a zero belt because I didn't even practice uh, traditional, like, gi, you know, Jiu-Jitsu. I was only doing no gi, like, MMA kind of Jiu-Jitsu. So no belt in my name. This guy had a purple belt, you know what I mean, which is uh, pretty decent. He had at least, like, maybe two years more experience than I did. And, uh, yeah, this guy would get so frustrated because he was around my size. Definitely had way more skill than me, but he had trouble submitting me. I would escape his submissions constantly. And then, you know, I would never submit him, but I would get close and I would piss him off. You know what I mean? And the other thing that I realized later is why <laughs> why he really didn't like me is because uh, one of my good friends at the time was dating a girl that he liked. So I guess that was another dumb reason why he didn't like me. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, one day he really pissed me off because uh, we were sparring. I think we were going on three-minute timers. And he had me in like a rear choke for at least like a minute. And he couldn't submit me. The freaking timer went off, and I had survived, and he, I didn't tap out, and he, he was pissed. He was pissed that he could not finish this white belt when he was like a purple belt, you know what I mean? And after that practice, he came up to me and said something to the effect of, hey man, um, you should really think about, you know, sticking to kickboxing. I was doing some kickboxing at the time, and he knew that. He was like, you have a lot of power, but I don't think you have talent for jiu-jitsu. You know, you keep, like, muscling, kind of muscling out of my submissions, and you're not really getting your own submissions, blah, blah, blah. I was kind of, like, making excuses uh, for me to quit. And in my head, you know, I'm a nice guy, so... <laughs> I don't tell him exactly how I feel. I'm just kind of, I kind of respectfully say, oh, you know, well, I like you shit, so I'm trying to get better. I'd like to do MMA in the future and fight, blah, blah, blah. And we kind of left it at that. But in my head, I'm like, man, fuck this guy. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this guy's just pissed that my defense is so good, basically. You know, he's just pissed that he can't, that he can't beat me. Which is a dumb thing, like, it's a stupid concept to try to, like, win sparring, because sparring is really just practice, guys. I mean, you can go hard in sparring, and that's fine, you know. But at the end of the day, it's just fucking practice. Like, there's no winning or losing. Uh, there definitely is getting your ass kicked or not, but in terms of winning or losing, like, you know, it's just practice, like, chill out. But anyway, this really pissed me off, so next time, <laughs> next time I ended up sparring with this guy, like, a week later... Uh, we got in the same kind of scenario, like, he had me in some kind of submission, I think it was maybe, I don't know, like an arm bar or something, and then, uh, I was, you know, holding onto my arm with the other arm, and he couldn't finish the arm bar, and the timer went off, and again, he got visibly frustrated. And I said, you know what, uh, let's just keep going. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, you almost had a submission. Let's just see what happens. So I, I let him get the arm bar back. And then I say, you know, just tap me when you're ready and we'll go again. So we go again. I end up escaping the arm bar. We, like, we roll around for another three minutes or so. He gets me in another submission. I'm defending. Timer goes off. Again, he's frustrated. I say, hey, you know what? Let's just keep going, man. Fuck it. So we keep going. We keep going. This goes for four timers. 
Uh, so with one minute rest in between, what is that, like 15 minutes? <laughs> so about 15 minutes of sparring this guy, which is a lot of time for Jiu Jitsu. If you've ever done it before, you know what I mean. Uh, eventually, and this is my plan the entire time, he, he gets tired. And my ass has great endurance the time again, you know, sparring big guys, being a swimmer for so long. I'm not really tired at all. I'm sweaty, you know, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not exhausted. And I'm the guy who's been defending instead of uh, attacking the whole time, which, you know, attacking takes a little more energy than defending, uh, especially if you're against somebody who's your own size. Now, he's so tired that he finally makes a mistake, and I jump on him, man. I explode, end up getting a rear naked choke on him, and I submit him. And, you know, that really, really pisses him off. I think he, he kind of just, you know, if you ever done jiu-jitsu, you know, you either shake hands or bump fists or something. I think he kind of gave me a quick little fist bump and, like, literally grabbed his shit and, like, stormed out of the place. <laughs> I didn't even, like, you know, say anything else to me. Um, and I literally never saw that guy again in the club. I think he just ended up going to, like, a, another gym that opened up at the time, and he did not fucking come back to the grappling club. <laughs> at least not any time I was there. Uh, and I'm not bragging, guys. This is not a story of me bragging about, like, beating this dude. It doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. It's just sparring, like I said already. It's, there's no winning or losing. But I outlasted this guy. And I frustrated this guy who was supposed to beat me, who was supposed to be better than me. But I had the endurance. I had the persistence. I didn't give up. Whereas his arrogant ass absolutely did. Again, never saw him again in the club. Anyway, guys, what's the moral of the story? I guess what I'm trying to say is be persistent. Persistence is key in everything you do. If you're passionate about something, don't give up. Even if you're getting your ass kicked, either literally or, <laughs> you know, metaphorically. Even if there's naysayers, there's people who are, don't believe in you, they're telling you to quit, fuck them. You know what I mean? Keep doing your thing. If you're into it, if you're passionate about it, if you're for real, just keep doing it. Keep going hard. At the end of the day, hard work is going to be talent. Especially if the talented ones aren't working hard, guys. That's about it. Fuck the haters. Peace.